Hey, welcome back to the channel. It is Saturday, which means it is auction day and I'm getting ready to leave, but I stopped by the shop real quick to help set up for the cookie walk. Here in Abbeville, every once in a while they do uh, fundraisers and events called walks. So in this case, it's a cookie walk. Sometimes it's a chocolate walk. I think they do that one in February. But uh, cookie walk, you basically get a, a map from the chamber and it shows which merchants are participating in it and you walk around the square and stop at each of the ones that are, are part of it and grab a sweet treat. So today we have some cookies. Jenna hasn't set this all up yet. She's gonna come in and make it look pretty. But uh, we've got cookies and then we've got some hot wassail as well. So that's gonna start at one o'clock this afternoon and hopefully I'll be at the auction for a little bit this morning and get back here in time to help out with the cookie walk. But now I think I have everything set up. So we're gonna head out to the auction. Today's auction is kind of special because it's not just at any house, it is at an amazing historic home. And I'm gonna turn this camera around so you can see it, but it is unbelievable. Look at this. Is that not amazing? The house is being sold today as well. They're gonna auction it off, but they're doing the contents first, and around noon they're gonna be doing the house. But is that not a fantastic, fantastic historical home? Unbelievable. So the house is amazing up front, but in the back you also have some barns and housing back here. You have this back building here. And then you have that big barn back there. Let me just go down there and see what I can find. I think they said the property has 20 some acres on it. Maybe 30, 20, 30 acres. Oh look, there's more over here too. Look over there, there's a building there and a building there. I don't know if the camera will pick up what's in here. Let's take a look inside. I don't think there's pretty much anything in here. So uh, there's a lot of people here at the auction, and usually when there's a lot of people, especially when I know some of them, um, I'm probably not going to get much today, but that's okay, because I got to get back to the cookie walk. I wanted to come see the building, and I hope I can pick up a few good deals, but with this many people, I kind of doubt it. But we'll see.
Don't get it on, on the brand new uh, fat lamp right here, folks. $50. Fit it up here. Get a little bit of 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 I've been spending most of my time going inside exploring. It's quite phenomenal in there. It needs a lot of work. It's in rough shape, but boy, is that a fantastic piece of property. I've met someone who is here from Florida actually looking to bid on it. I've heard there's bidders from California. I don't know if they're here, but they're going to be bidding on it. So I imagine the price is going to go way, way, way up, but it is a phenomenal property. I think it has 20 some acres on it. And, uh, I could just see it being a phenomenal bed and breakfast or an event venue where you could have weddings here. And I've seen at least two, looks like hornet nests. So I am not gonna get too close. I assume they're not in there. But yeah, I am not going to, uh, not gonna try to get stung. You know, I'm away from other people, so I'm gonna take the mask off. So let's see what the back looks like. So I guess back this way is an outhouse. So we're gonna go run back here and see if we can see it back through the trees here. Oh, look at that. You can see the, the holes for the outhouse. Yeah, so that would have been uncomfortable. I assume you would have had to walk from the house all the way back here, which is a uh, fairly decent distance. When it's freezing out, I imagine that was not a pleasant process to come out during the night in the freezing cold all the way through the yard to have to use the bathroom. This is the first balcony. Let's go up another flight of stairs. to the stairs. It just keeps going up. I wonder what this... I bet that went up to the roof because there's nothing there. I guess this room is only accessible by the porch patio. This is one of the reasons why I love going to auctions is you get to experience the history of these historic homes and some of the items that come out of these historic homes. You know, if this property gets purchased by a private individual, this may be the last time the public gets invited into this property for who knows how long. So to be able to come today, even if I don't walk away with anything from the auction, which at this point it doesn't look like I'm going to, but to be able to just come and look at this house and experience this, this historic home makes it worth coming to these auctions.
All right, that's a wrap. I'm gonna go ahead and head out. I didn't end up getting anything. I could have stuck around and might have been able to get a few things later on in the day, but Jen's at the shop. We have the cookie walk today, so I'm gonna go ahead and head back now to help her, and uh, hopefully we'll have a good day at the shop. Thanks for coming along with me. Hope you've enjoyed coming to the auction at this uh, historic home.